Hi there. My name is Brendan Wong. I'm the founder and CEO of Capnos with the mission to help 1 million people quit vaping by 2027. I was 14 years old when I first began vaping. I was addicted for over five years. Throughout this time, I've come to recognize that the high usage of nicotine has actually evolved into a craving for the behavioral dependence rather than just physiological. I struggled because there was uh, missing tools that were available in the marketplace that youth like myself could access. NRTs were out of my age category and other solutions were just too expensive and inaccessible. I then became obsessed with finding a solution to address this disparity. I became obsessed with serving people, asking thousands of people who vape to discover that two out of three have indicated that the root issue is an oral fixation. From then on, in 2019, I invented the Capno Zero. It's a flavored pressurized air inhaler that works like this. Inside, there's a silicone valve that pops open that creates a throat hit sensation, but there's zero smoke, zero nicotine, and zero charge. It's flavored with optional natural extracts that are soaked into these cotton wicks that are then perceived through the olfactory system or the sense of smell. This addresses the tactile, auditory, and aromatic sensory dependencies that people are looking for with innovative products to help address behavioral cravings. We then released the Capna Fulgura and the Breezy, which are premium versions. These feature a silicone bite cap, as well as adjustable pressure strength and fidgeting features too. We've priced our value line of products at $24.99 and our premium line at $74.99 so that our products are one, they're available to last a lifetime to reduce disposable waste. And our products are neither a tobacco product, medical product, food or drug product, but we do aim to earn cessation messaging eventually. Since launching in January of 2022, we've been able to ship over 70,000 units of our devices to 70 countries and growing. We have a global team. We're also a minority, minority owned business and registered LGBTQ owned business as well. In a recent July survey with 379 respondents to folks in the Capnos mailing list, we've been able to discover that of those using our devices, 21% reported a five out of five rating saying highly effective in achieving their goals for a behavior elimination, reduction, or replacement. We've been able to help pregnant mothers, patients awaiting uh, clinical or medical procedures, and people who have suffered with smoking or vaping addiction for decades long achieve their goals by using Capnos devices. Our goals are inextricably linked with many of those of you here today. So with that, I ask, uh, to, I ask you all to join our efforts. We've recently partnered with colleagues and academic medical centers to evaluate Capnos devices in a human laboratory setting. We currently have a grant application currently under review. We aim to expand access through retail adoption, work with health insurance payers and other regulators to achieve mutual harm reduction goals. Uh, I ask you to join us by inviting me to speak with your groups, share my story, and to also participate with us in pilot studies as well. It's helpful to get buy-in from folks like myself, so that way representation fosters innovation. I've shared, much of, I sh I've shared some comments on the public registry, so feel free to reach out there or contact me at hello at mycapnos.com. With that, I ask you all to join our efforts, and together we can put a cap on vaping and smoking. Thank you.